Broadway productions cost millions of dollars and producers help fund them. Now a local producer's work has been nominated for two Tony Awards. Rob Hughes introduces us to Evan McGill. There's a saying on Broadway, you can't make a living, but you can make a killing. The theater has been a part of Evan McGill's life since a young age. He started acting at six years old and was in several musicals. There's nothing like live theater. You're in a room, especially in New York, you have a theater any, anywhere between the size of 600 to 2,000 people, and you got all these people together feeling the emotions of the actors and hearing this live music and people laughing at the same time, crying, uh, gasping. I mean, it's, it's a pretty amazing thing. There's nothing like it. McGill now helps fund productions. He received two Tony Award nominations as a producer, one for Parade for Best Revival of a Musical. The story has just resonated much more with people, so it's really had a much bigger audience this time around. The other, the sign in Sidney Brewstein's window for Best Revival of a Play. The Tonys are great for Broadway. The Tonys are really the national infomercial, as I say, for the industry. Every Things I see. McGill is proud to be part of a team that never gave up and worked hard to bring their passion and their dreams to one of the world's biggest stages. Most Broadway shows take about seven years to get to the stage, from the development process to out of town to rehearsals to actually getting a theater for Broadway. Um, so the, the time to get there is incredible and a lot of people are really resilient to put in all the time and effort to do that. Rob Hughes, KBC 9 News. And don't forget, 19-year-old Justin Cooley is up for the Tony for Best Performance by an Actor in a Featured Role in a Musical. He plays Seth in the show Kimberly Akimbo on Broadway. Cooley attended Olathe East High School and will, of course, be following up to see if our local nominees win. The 76th Tony Awards are coming up this Sunday, June 11th at United Palace in New York City. Ariana DeBose will be returning to host for the second year in a row.